Hello Syntax! So, as you know, there is some pretty big news happening around the world right now, and I hope you are staying alright despite everything. Amongst all the crazy news though, I want to highlight one in particular that means just so much to me. The most popular, if not the most influential manga of all time, One Piece, has reached its 1000th chapter this past week. Publishing weekly chapters in Shonen Jump from 1997, One Piece by Oda Ichiro detailed the adventures of Luffy, a kid who accidentally ate a magic fruit that rendered him incapable of swimming but somehow turned his full body into rubber. One Piece is the story of Luffy's journey with his nakamas to become the king of the pirates. A thousand chapters and over 20 years of serialization is such an insane milestone, and I'm so glad to be a tiny part of what makes One Piece the global phenomenon that it is today. I still remember the summer of 2006, my cousin excitedly showing me what he thought at the time was the best thing in the entire world. The animated story of a high schooler with a giant sword that can perform basically magic, and a rubber kid traveling around the world trying to find the ultimate treasure, the One Piece. From then on, my life is measured in two different timelines. One marked by the calendar, and the other marked by all the major events in One Piece. The year that my family finally got internet was the year that Nightmare Luffy was trying to fight off an onion human the size of a mountain. It was the same year that Zoro offered to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to save his captain and his crew. The year that I started middle school, I cried my eyes out watching Luffy's loss, and then I cried again witnessing the Straw Hat's tearful reunion. When I first moved country, the Straw Hats just landed in the new, exciting island of Dressrosa and exploring this passionate country. The story of the Straw Hats was always with me every step of the way. For the 1000th chapter landmark, the official One Piece channel has made an anniversary video about how the story of One Piece has impacted the lives of so many readers. Link in the doodle deal, by the way. I can see myself in every scene depicted in that video. Yes, I grew up with the Straw Hats, I sometimes tried to be as cool as them, sometimes I wanted to be just like them, sometimes I let their words slip through my lips, and their lines stayed with me and helped me to move forward. Their story makes me feel an instant bond and connection with anyone else that appreciates them. This video still makes my nose tingle a bit, and at the same time still makes me chuckle the fifth time that I watched it. Every story has to end. And it saddens me to think that the story of Straw Hat Luffy and his Nakamas will also end someday. But until then, I'm so grateful for having their story be a constant in my life. And I'm so appreciative for all the tears and laughter the Straw Hat crew has brought us. Syntax, I will see you next week. Hi. Editing Alex here. Syntax, I really appreciate you sharing your feelings at the moment with me through your last video. It's such a beautifully written video and I'm so glad that I can be the person calling you and I'm also so glad that you always pick up the phone when I call and you have no idea how much that means to me. In the wise words of Captain Luffy, you might be alone at the moment, but someday you'll definitely find Nakama. No one's born in the world to be alone. And Syntax, I am so glad to have you as my Nakama. I hope this somewhat goofy video can make the days lighter.